Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the hydrological cycle teaches us that water is finite. Water melts, evaporates, condensates and circulates, but it is not created. Human demand for water, however, is far from finite. As COVID-19 has spread across the globe, this paradox of finite resources and growing demand has been brought into sharp relief. Yet, even before the pandemic, water security was a decisive issue for the life and health of billions of people. Too many, often the poorest, lacked access to clean water and sanitation. Many women and girls missed out on education due to insufficient hygiene facilities or because they needed to fetch water for, from distant sources. With climate change, this situation could quickly become a downward spiral. Global warming will have a lasting impact on water access, both in terms of quantity and quality. The 2018 World Water Development Report, which UNESCO published on behalf of the UN Water family, focused on this link between water and ecosystems. It called on countries to harness the potential of nature-based solutions, to ensure adequate water supplies, to support food production and to help minimize the risk of water-related disasters. Emphasizing that nature is not a threat, but the solution to many of our challenges is the goal of today's, pa today's panel. It is also the goal of eco-hydrology as it is practiced at UNESCO. Our intergovernmental hydrological program has been applying nature-based hydroecological solutions for over 20 years. 26 sites in 19 countries around the world support the development of these solutions. In Ethiopia, for instance, the Burkitu Reservoir was restored using eco-hydrological solutions. As a result, this reservoir, which has been polluted by intensive agriculture, is now an alternative source of drinking water for the city of Asela. Eco-hydrology can also be used to protect water-related heritage. In Ecuador, an eco-hydrological approach to the ancestral water system of Los Paltas helped supply water to the city of Catacocha, located in UNESCO's Bosques de Paz Biosphere Reserve. Symbolically, this project also led to the discovery of rock carvings, showing the very close ties between humans and water. Our interactions with water have shaped human history, enabling diverse cultures to evolve in phase with their environments. This elemental relationship is reflected in the words of the poet Henry David Thoreau, life in us is like the water in a river. I thank you for your attention.